Hi families at Clovenstone. My name's Mrs. Pitt and I'm one of the primary two teachers and I'm here with my little girl Eleanor. Hi! And we're doing a lentil soup recipe for Clovenstone's kitchen. So let's get started. I'm going to tell you the things that you need. What you need to make this is a leek, or half a leek, an onion, you can use a white or a red oh, one, uh, some garlic cloves, these are optional, we like garlic cloves in our, everything, uh, some carrots, two or three carrots, some lentils, these are red lentils, you can use green lentils as well, uh, we like to put in some barley, some pearl barley, but that's optional as well, stock cubes, water, and you know various utensils, so a spoon, uh, garlic crusher, peeler, knife, and sieve. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut up our onion. Okay, so I'm going to do this. We actually, I put a bowl there so we can put all of the peel in there and then put it into the compost. Oh, and I forgot to say we have both washed our hands before we started, which is very important. So, cutting up your onion. Okay. We've, this one's quite small, so I'm going to use the whole thing. If you had a bigger onion, maybe just use half of that. So, cut that up, put it to the side. And then garlic. Take these bits out. Your eyes starting to water. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Because of the onion. That happens. So stand back a wee bit. And we will put these straight into the pan. Okay. So you want to come with me? Important. Don't drop it now. And we'll put it straight into the pan. You move her back around away from the onions now, and your eyes will be better. Put some garlic in, we like to crush ours, but you can chop that in as well. And then you can use oil or just water. I just use water to cook this for a minute or so in low heat. Okay, so I'll let Eleanor. Eleanor, you can come and stir this whilst I do the carrots. Okay? So just stir that put it down and make sure it doesn't all stick to the edge. Okay, right, you give that a stir. And then carrots, picking off the ends. For too long, but just to soften it, and then we the next thing we do is add the lentils and the barley and any other grain you like. Split peas are quite nice to put in, and um, just to give it a little bit of bulk, make it a bit more filling. Okay, I'll do the. Okay, so you cut the leek and. Um, I'm going to put the, that bit away for later and use the green part, okay? Do you want to just go and check on the, the onions? We've to turn that off now, they're fine. We'll put them on in a minute. Take that out a bit out. Okay, we'll cut this up. And we'll rinse, the, we'll rinse the leek off and the carrots off before we add them to the soup. Other things, other things you can add if you like, you can add bits of bacon, uh, bits of cut up ham, and to what you like really. Chopped tomato, a tin of chopped tomato, this is quite nice too. And celery. 
which we usually add celery, but I didn't have any in the fridge. Celery is quite nice. Crossing up the carrots. You can just cut them into slices or into little into little bits. I just pour some into the sieve, so probably actually all of those. Just tip them into the sieve, yeah. So that's if you were measuring it, it would be maybe about half a cup between half a cup and a cup, and then a little bit of barley. That's fine, okay. And then just going to come and give that a quick rinse before I put it into the into the pan, okay? Do you want to do that? Take that over and give that a wee rinse. Rinse it off and you can use your hands just to get it all rinsed. Okay, and then I'll take that and just give it a shake and then bring it over and tip it into the pan with the onions. Okay. There we go. We'll put that back on now and give that a little stir. And we put in some salt and pepper too, okay? A bit of salt and some pepper. Looking good. Okay, and a wee bit more water because this cooks really quickly. And then we can add our stock cube. So you can use. Uh, we use a vegetable stock cube, but if you want to use a ham or, uh, you, or a meaty one, you can do that too. Okay, I'm going to put two in. I'll take that. Eleanor, could you pass me the sieve, please? Yeah. Thank you. of the stock cube go in that's fine because it will all dissolve as it's cooking. Okay now you can tip the, the carrots and the leeks in. That's it I'll help you get this bit out. Give that a wee stir please and then and then I'm just going to fill this up now with with water. Now this makes a big batch, so this will do, if you can keep it in the fridge and you can have it all week, which we often do, we have it for lunch just with um, some toast or some bread. So we'll leave that to cook really nice. and the longer that can cook the better. So you can leave that to cook for at least 40 minutes, but usually um, somewhere between an hour and two and then the vegetables are all soft. So we'll show you that later. Okay, so we're just going to put that onto a low heat now and then leave that to simmer. Okay, and that's it.
Okay, so after about an hour or so, this has been on for an hour and a little bit, it's all cooked and the, the carrots and the leeks are all soft. So you can turn that off and then you can serve up, okay? So I'm just going to do a bowl for Eleanor and I just now, okay? All right. And Eleanor, you like to have yours with bread and butter, don't you? Yeah. So that's us. We've got our soup. Okay, I hope you enjoy the, the recipe. Bye.